Okay, hey guys, so, um, this is how you make, as you can see by the, uh, title of the video, you can see that this is how to make multiple credit card holders in a duct tape wallet. And, I've made another duct tape wallet, just like in the how to make a duct tape wallet video, it's pretty much identical, just it doesn't have any credit card holders in it, it's just like the third step in making it after you attach the sheet and make the, the crease. So, what you're going to do is, instead of making two credit card holders, you're going to make four. You can also make six, which I prefer, but and you can also even make eight, but having four on each side of the wallet, like four here and four there, gets a little cluttered. So I like putting two and or three. So, what you're going to do is you're going to cut out four instead of two, and then instead of cutting out for connecting it, instead of cutting out four strips that are one inch long, one inch long, you're gonna cut out eight strips that are one each one inch long. Instead of cutting out two strips that are four inches long for connecting on the bottom like this, you're gonna cut out four just like that. So now to connect them, instead of connecting it right on the bottom like in the how to make a duct tape wallet video like that. You're gonna connect it a little bit higher. You're gonna kind of eyeball it so that you so that it's kind of equal in space from when you put. So you can kind of make it so that it's about uh, uh about a half an inch from the top of the wallet, as you can see here, about a half an inch. You're gonna line it up. So now you're gonna take one. You're going to take a strip of the one inch duct tape. You're going to try to make it as straight as you can. Put half of it on this side, just like that. And kind of be very careful and flip it over and stick down the other half, like that. And that's part of it. So now that's kind of stuck on and pretty pretty straight, as you can see. Um, it shouldn't be too bad connecting the bottom. So you can take one of the four inch strips, and you're going to connect the bottom, like in the duct tape video. You can put half of it on this strip. No, about mm, a third of it on the strip. Make it as straight as possible. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Flip the whole thing over and put the rest of it <clears throat> over. Then take another one in strip like this. Start at the top and put again, like always, half of it on the wallet and like that and then you're gonna take it again and wait did I do something wrong? Nope, I didn't. It's all good. So you're gonna put half of it there and then so now to make to do the second one you take another credit card holder instead of putting it up like you just did with this one you're gonna put it down at the bottom like in the how to make the duct tape wallet video but when you're making three, I tend to make three, so I put it like that so that there's equal parts on the top and the bottom. And then you take the when you connect that, you put on the third one. But for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna make two. So I'm gonna take the second one, put it directly on the bottom of the wallet, line it up as straight as I can. Take a strip of one. In a one a strip of duct tape that's one inch long, line it up as best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect, like I said, and bam, just like that. And you're gonna take another four inch strip like this. Try to make it pretty straight. Stick on half of it instead of a third, like that. Just like that, flip the whole thing over, go like that, and you can, oh, that wasn't even straight, what am I talking about? I have to make it straighter than that. 
far is not going to look really good. So, sort of make it straight this time. That's a lot straighter this time. Like this. Stick it down, starting in the middle and going out to the sides, and bam. So now, the last thing that I have to do, again, is take one more one-inch strip. Stick it down on the side. And stick half it down on the side. Stick the other half there, and bam. Instantly, you have two credit card holders on one side. Now, pause the video, and you're going to do the other side of it, just exactly the same. And then, so do that step right now. Okay, guys. So if you like what you've seen here, and you want to see more, this is the finished wallet. If you like here, if you like what you've seen, you want to see how to put on the uh, what's it called ID slot. If you want to put on an ID slot right here in the wallet, then click the link right there on the screen. It'll be right there. And so I'll like if I said I'll have another one up next week. And yep. Uh, thank you for watching, and bye.